You know, about a month ago, we brought you the story of a Henrietta woman in the hospital battling the Delta variant of COVID-19. We spoke to her daughter then. She was worried about her mother. That woman spent three weeks in the hospital and survived. She's now telling us about her experience. News 4's Angela Shen has the story. This is 69-year-old Jean Gang, several weeks after recovering from COVID. At the end of July, she and her husband, 70-year-old Donnie Gang, tested positive. After a few days at home, their symptoms kept getting worse. Not being able to breathe and then coughing. I'm afraid that if I lay down and go to sleep, I'm going to die. They called an ambulance and went to a hospital in Okmulgee. Donnie was discharged after about a week, but doctors had to look for a place to send Gene. He said, I know that we've called every hospital there is, and he said, we've gone five states away and could not find an uh, ICU for her, but he said, I'm going to make room. She was flown by air ambulance to a hospital in Tahlequah. She said when she was being wheeled out, she saw Donnie's hospital bed had been made. And I had a fear that he had died. Donnie recalling conversations with the doctor. He said, you know, he said, I can't get her oxygen levels where I need them. And I'm pumping air in there to try to open her lungs up because they're stuck together. But in doing so, he said, I put too much air around her heart. He says the doctor was asking him about life support in case she had a heart attack. But Donnie says the solution was to pray. It was just unbelievable people praying. He called me the next morning and he goes, well, I have no idea why, but he said her oxygen levels are way better than they, I thought they would be. Jean says when she was intubated, she had hallucinations. It felt like I had plastic plants in my mouth and I needed to get them out. And at some point during that time, I pulled that ventilator out. And when I did, um, my oxygen changed and I began to get better. At first, it was difficult for her to talk, but... She started improving, not by the day, but by the hour. The medical technology, the prayers, the great care that I got and the grace of God is the why I'm here. Now she's in physical therapy, regaining her strength. We've both been very curious how, how we even caught it because we're just not around people and um, chose not to have the vaccine. In hindsight, I probably would uh, because I've never been so sick in my life. It's still a choice.